hi everyone i hope you are all doing good so in today's session we are going to discuss single select search with auto complete and the drop down option with page referencing we'll also walk through a practical use case and uh, implement this single uh, select search uh, with the existing uh, case type in addition to that we will cover the concept of savable data page so let's get started here you can see i have already opened my case type from here to the first case now what i'm going to do i am going to store the values which we provide uh, when we initiate our case so for now i'm going to store the collect data values okay so collect data means if you launch the case this value I'm going to store through savable data page okay so let's see how we can achieve that so in earlier version what was happening if we click on the step and go to the more and select the automation here we were getting one option of save data page but in 24.2 you cannot see through the app studio for that let us go to the tab studio and we'll see from there whether we have that option or not here again click on the step more automation and save database option we can get from here right so select this so once we select this we are getting the option of data page name so whatever data we get from here we are going to store that data inside the data type collect user detail so when we create the data type of collect user detail three data page gets automatically created okay so if you go to sources you will find one page one list and one savable data page let's open this the data page name is this so for now we will just provide this data page name here and then we will update save guid we will give the unique id as a py id okay py id is nothing but a case id so just to show you let me save and i'll just go to one case and I will open one case and will show you the PYID. So go to any case, go to the clipboard, and in the clipboard, we will find the option of PYID, right? So let's close that. Now go back to the App Studio. We don't want to work much on the case studio. So if we refresh this, let's see what option we get. Now we get the save data page. Now let's go back to the data page which we have given here. Go to the data, collect user detail, data page. This data page we are going to work upon but before that let us see what values we have so here first name last name email phone occupation and this delivery op option is there so you can see we have created lots of cases till now but no record is getting saved here in the data class right so let's create one more field as a case id so here we will be just storing the uh, PYID of the class okay so that uh, when we want to search we will just take a reference of the case ID and we will search the data so just submit text okay now go to the data page data page we need to open through dev studio now here you can see this is the savable mode and we have a source as a lookup we have a three option either delete or a delete update or database save 
not delete update update delete and save so for our use case we are going to change the source so let's create one data transform and give the data transform name as a save case data open this and create and open so what we are going to do we are going to copy the data from the case to the data class okay so let's collect the properties i am quickly going to create this now as we have seen in the case that we were giving this data to one page right so let's see what was the page name go to the py work page now you can see user address this is, this is the page user detail so we will give this page okay here and we will define the py work page in the pages and classes and give the class name as this one okay now select the values okay now we have created our data transform let's go back to the data page save this okay now we are done so this is the uh, savable data page which we have updated now we need to see how this gets the data from case and map to the data class right so for that let's go back to the case type here everything is done let's launch one new case give some data next we can launch the case from the app studio but for now just to demonstrate you i have launched the case from here i'm not giving the data i'm just completing the life cycle and i'm submitting it okay i think now our data should be inside the data type let us see go back to the record action refresh see the data is there now this is how uh, we can use the savable data page and get the case data to the respective data class now what i will request you uh, you just go ahead and create a new case and copy the address data to the address data class okay so this is done now we will see uh, how we can you know get the case detail through the you know single select search and with the page reference okay now suppose one case has been created the same user comes back and he want to create another case but at the second time he don't want to give all detail okay we want to check whether the customer is existing or not okay and if the customer is not existing we will be creating a new case and filling these details if not then we will be utilizing the existing detail of that customer okay so for now we will just give this detail case id detail to the customer whenever he comes back we will say okay if you are existing customer can you give us the case id detail or not okay so let's see that scenario now go back here in the first step we will be going to update so you can see we have only uh, given the user detail option right so what we are going to do we are going to give a option whether the customer is existing or new one that is one and second is we are going to 
create a view of a single select search. Let's quickly create two fields. First field is is existing customer. We will select this as a pick list and we will give a option as local and display as a radio button. Give the choice as a yes and no and submit. Now give the proper label. Now we will make a condition if this value is a yes then we will hide this go to visibility give the custom condition and what will be the condition is existing customer equal to no save now uh, we are going to create one field first and that field will be a type of page reference okay so let's go back here go to data model create one field get customer details and give the type as data reference of a page type and give the value as a collect user detail right here we have stored our case data now submit go back to UX. Now go back to the workflow. Again go to the configure view. Okay. Now uh, the field which we have created. Right. What was the field which we have created just now is get customer detail. Add. Now click on the field. We will see the mode as a single select or read only. So we will select as a single select and display as a drop down. Okay. Now there is a data page list, collect user detail and display field through the case ID will be searching. Okay. Remember we have created one case ID field for the data class just for the sake of getting the value. We have put it this case ID. And this case ID is nothing but a PYID of the case, earlier case. Now, once we select the option, what field we are going to show? Let's see that. We are going to show the view as a collect user data. So this collect user data is the UI, UI which we have created in the data class. We reused that in the case as well. And we are reusing the same here as well. Okay, now submit. So I think we are done. Let's quickly test that out. But before that, okay, let us go to the data type. So I have demonstrated you how we can store the data from the savable data page, right? So if you create like number of cases, you will be getting the data here. But for now, just for the demonstration, I am creating like 10 records. Before creating it, remember this was the case, right? F6003. 
so when customer will come again the same customer will come again he will give the reference of this id now let's create some dummy records good so our record is this one okay i'm not touching any other details let's quickly go back to the case type and test that out but i think we have not given one condition of populating this option right uh, if we collect this as select this as a yes then only we should show this option so just go back and select the visibility condition custom condition what will be the condition is existing customer equals to yes good submit save submit save and run the case so here you can see we have a option is existing customer no then we need to fill the detail if yes then we'll be getting a option of select the case id correct now we will ask what was the case id if you are a existing customer he will say i have a case id as a f6003 and if you select this you will get the data populated here now you don't need to you know give the same data again so this concept is called nothing but a single select search with the option of a drop down now let's go back and change the op uh, drop down option to auto complete one figure view and uh, click here okay not there click customer details change this to auto complete submit now again save and run yes now here you see like this right if you suppose you have the number of data but you can see few details here now if you give the value as f6003 so it will narrow down to your result and it will populate the data here cool now what let's see uh, what is the you know backend detail gets introduced when we created the property which property the property which we have created from data model type as a page reference right uh, what was the property name get customer detail okay to see that let's go back to the tab studio what was the property name get 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 customer detail so here you can see it is calling a data page t underscore collect user detail and giving the guid as a get customer details dot py guid and what is this data page did we create is no this is the data page of a page type so this is the existing data page when we create the data type right so go to the collect user detail in the sources there are these three data pages created right so we have now seen the use of the page list and the savable data page of the data type so we did not create much rule we have reused the existing ui we have used the existing data page we have just did a little modification and achieved the new use case so that's all for today i'll see you in next session thank you